Sampala, welcome to the news hour. Today we are discussing electronic learning and especially the Rixom Sherik collection in particular. I'm joined in the news hour today by Boaz, who is an instructor with the uh, Rixom Institute. And we have, of course, a teacher, Pasang Tsering, from Bajitang High Secondary School. And we're also joined by the proprietor of Rixom uh, Institute, Mr. Chen Chen Dojula. Thank you so much for joining me on the program. It's a pleasure. I'm actually excited to be talking about e-learning. I actually went um, and explored what it is that you have to offer students. I'm wondering how it is that you all actually decided to have something like this for students in Bhutan. Well, we uh, found out there is a gap here. On the one hand, um, over um, 3,000 computers are available in uh, Bhutan's uh, schools. But most of the um, schools in Bhutan do not have broadband internet. And uh, computers were mainly, uh, are, are mainly used for um, learning um, things like Microsoft Word or uh, Microsoft Excel. And the computer can do much more than being a fancy typewriter. So um, computers can be used for learning. And so we were thinking of closing uh, that gap. So uh, that's the idea behind the Rixom Sherry Collection, is um, availing those high-quality educational material that many of us are familiar with, like uh, Wikipedia, mm -hmm. to schools and to computers that are not connected to the Internet. Yes. How did Rixom get involved with this? Um, and how was it that you decided that you wanted to be part of something like this? <clears throat> Actually, I can say that I didn't have much idea about how to go for this uh, uh, shared collection, and when we, uh, I had uh, Mr. Bose and his wife working with me, so they gave me that idea. And I was just, we were just uh, talking about the development of uh, Zonka software, how we can use Zonka in mobile phones and in computers. So, in line, they decided that uh, something to do good uh, for the schools, uh, let us go for such a thing. So, that uh, left, uh, I must uh, <coughs> commend uh, that my research team who mm. did did all these things. Mm. Must have involved a lot of work over a long period of time. Um, we started in uh, October of 2012. That's where we uh, started working on the project. And about six or seven months later, I think it was April mm. 2013, that the first uh, uh, Rixom Sherry Collection version was uh, launched. Mm. So, um, luckily, uh, similar efforts are happening around the world. Uh, um, you might be surprised to find out that 60% of the world population uh, cannot access the Internet. Mm -hmm. uh, so, it's not only in Bhutan, it's in many other countries. Um, um, similar uh, efforts are being made. Um, so, uh, many of the resources that we curated were actually uh, are available on the internet. What we had to do is select which ones to use in the Sherry collection. Um, we had a lot of local content from the um, Ministry of Education, the Department of Curriculum Development, mm. and um, Zonka resources from the uh, Zonka Development Commission. We collected all of that, curated many other uh, resources like educational games, mm. um, um, uh, e-books, audio books, books right. and um, put them all in one package and uh, sent it off. Let's uh, talk to somebody who's uh, been using your Rixom Sherry collection as well. And Passing Sering, of course, um, has been the promoter of the Rixom Sherry collection. And you have actually wa waxed eloquently about how wonderful this is. In fact, on Facebook, on the page, the Rixom Sherry collection page, you've actually said this is one of the most wonderful things to have happened to the education system in Bhutan. Uh, right, yeah. Actually, uh, the first announcement happened on social media. Um, a Rixom team... Uh, uh, who happens to be a, a blogger friend, uh, he announced that there is going to be something like this. And he mentioned about uh, specifically, uh, specifically about uh, Khan Academy being offline. That interested me. And the first day they launched their Riksum uh, Collection 1, they invited me for the inaugural and uh, just a demonstration on how to use it. And it's uh, very simple. Actually, in 30 minutes, you will get it. So I came here and... Uh, when I understood uh, what all is there in the collection, 
I actually at once decided that I will promote this. Mm -hmm. And actually they made sure that uh, 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 it's free. So when I her, first I was doubtful, you know, is it going to be a business model? Are they trying to actually uh, promote it first and then? No, but actually all along it was free and it's going to be free forever. Mm -hmm. So that interested me and actually I actually appointed myself as the ambassador of uh, uh, Rixum. <laughs> you appointed yourself or did Rixum also appoint you? No, actually they have no <laughs> hand in this. They have no incentive. It's just that uh, the whole idea, the principle behind this is so good that I as a teacher and an uh, educationist found that I must work for uh, in promoting this. Mm. Well, which which part of uh, the collection is quite popular among your students then? Because there's quite a bit. I mean, forget Wikipedia. There's, of course, the audiobooks. Um, there's also, of course, the math and physics tutorials. And if I'm not mistaken, there's something to do with animation as well. You have... Mm, yeah. There is a Scratch. programming software to right. teach very young children how to program a computer, mm. not just how to use it. I see. So w what has been the most popular aspect? aspect among your students from the Rixum Chair collection? Um, actually, I have, uh, actually, it's very difficult for me alone to actually spread the word about this. Mm. Uh, so I have, uh, it, it, it was a coincidence, this year I started uh, e-learning club in my school mm. and Rixum actually started this and actually uh, my club actually got uh, all the resources at once. Mm. And uh, in there, First thing is the most popular is Khan Academy being mm. offline mm. because uh, you know internet we have internet in our school but having uh, watching one Khan Academy movie it takes how long so <laughs> with it, uh, 2000 movies being offline it's uh, it's it's a treat big treat so mm. next thing uh, talking about animation few of my students actually took uh, uh, scratch which is a programming software for children mm -hmm. they are actually working on this and uh, uh, actually, we are taking Rixum as inspiration. So uh, my students are creating Khan Academy sort of movie on their mm -hmm. own. Then they are recording, uh, recording audio books on their own. Less. Just trying with uh, very minimal... Uh, to produce the kind of content yes. that they've seen, yes. If I'll add one little thing. Uh, one of uh, um, Pasang's uh, students actually was so inspired by Khan Academy that mm -hmm. he created his own... Uh, Khan Academy type video oh. to teach a mathematical subject. This is pretty amazing. Mm, this is quite amazing. Um, let's also look at uh, what people, teachers and students have been saying about the Rixum Sherek collection. Now. Without internet, internet means we are offline. We take a chira, we are use better. The alugi thega we watch, the alugi kungaragi subject related ka chira, we are the better. The internet. Facilities mongova kung it the software the chimna bab chite chimna le kong rega chie go media nalo dina le chito chito bigalo tele nta nta nga chile we zoom chile bawa chinte teaching gi ko le lopten bini gi dina le lopten da jawa bi gi ka chila chui go de bawa chinta ni rixum share collection nalo bawa chinta kan academic simi gi chida tele ni wikipedia de bola da nalo tenga chigi zongka gi katule bero da ingi gi nalo ka chila type chap de bero dina le nesul de su jamton de be top su be su nila. Dan bini kita lebih dalam tu lalu di nama sami Shen Jaketani dah disuruh lalu di tempat pentol nama sami bom tu. Dalam hak perdu ada thazur nala pa remote place nala pa tu internet facilities mewah disuruh lalu di nama sami tempat pentol bom bera juni meh sengar lagi sama sekali demi isu ni. Tanah awak dengan kaji ni cuma cuma tahu aja ni kaji bera information demi tahu aja. The information ni cuma cuma tahu aja lah kaji bera kaji project bera quality work cuci demi suruh dia ni betul. Online biochin, research biochin, much lakach biro, maktoki la lishum chutus. Like whenever we have projects and all, uh, the uh, the students, the students that can uh, can't have access to internet at homes, uh, come here, do their research, have the project done on time and all. So I think it was very good idea of them to have it installed in the lab. So any child uh, who goes to the IT lab can uh, open and uh, they are into the system and there's a host of um, information there ranging from, like I said, math, science, even history, geography, very, very interesting lessons that ranges all the way from uh, grade BP, KG, all the way to 12. So if uh, we haven't had the chance or the time to go around to uh, interview the teachers and see the effectiveness and how well it is used but we are hoping that teachers will integrate these lessons comments
Uh, we also have some online comments. They're on your screen. Um, you could, uh, you can actually see that there are uh, positive comments. If you could keep it a little longer. Unfortunately, it's a little too far away from me from in the studio, and we are all trying to really get in close to see what's there. But uh, there's somebody who's written a comment who's seated on the panel, thankfully, and uh, it's basically very positive comments. <laughs> You can actually see thank you, and the thank you is actually addressed to boss who's seated right next to me as well. I think there's a lot of people who've actually uh, benefited from the content that's been provided by the Rickson um, Sherrick collection. Um, okay, we're done with the comments from Facebook. Let me uh, talk to Mr. Chenjin. I mean, being a private entity um, and the fact that you wanted to actually um, undertake a project like this, what was it like for you? You really wanted to reach out and help students? What was it? Yeah, <coughs> our vision is just to support uh, our. Uh, youth and the monastic and all the school children and this we took it as a social corporate uh, responsibility to enhance uh, educational facilities to all the schools mm. like, such as uh, places like Marasaktian, Laya Lingji or Suinaro those who don't have this uh, internet connectivity so we thought that if we can supply such uh, uh, materials they will learn and they will have a chance to uh, access internet and articles mm. What was the reaction of the Education Ministry actually? Because you've incorporated the curriculum from the Education Ministry as well. Uh, Amsange, the secretary, was very positive and she's quite helpful and supportive, uh, and they have really encouraged us to go further. Mm -hmm. Now, there have been some, um, let me see, the criticism that I know of and that people have shared with me is the Wikipedia uh, part of the Rixum Sherry collection, how um, you've actually actually trained young people to edit content and to upload content right. onto uh, the Wikipedia. So then do you think that the information that's going to be provided there is always correct because people have um, the, uh, the option of editing the information right. there? So the three, we actually have three uh, collections of Wikipedia articles. Mm. Uh, the first one has about 50,000 of the best Wikipedia uh, articles mm -hmm. that were carefully selected. And the second one is a selection that's used mainly for schools. Mm. It matches the school curriculum. And the third one is a Wikipedia in simple English, which is very useful for people who are just starting with English. And uh, most of these articles uh, will, uh, will um, be there um, uh, for, th they support the, the curriculum. Mm -hmm. They're not articles that are constantly updated. Uh, imagine you having an Encyclopedia Britannica. Mm -hmm. Doesn't get updated every day. Yes. So these are classical articles mm -hmm. uh, in the context of a school uh, they are, um, uh, it's completely satisfactory. Basang, mm -hmm. uh, uh, which standard, uh, <coughs> the students of which standard are actually using um, the Rixum Sherry collection more frequ uh, frequently? Um, in my school, uh, I have clubs, club members who are from class uh, 9 to 12. So like uh, uh, in club, it actually varies. Uh, I, I, don't, I do not have any status on this, but uh, when it comes to, uh, there are different contents like Cushion Bank, uh, Cushion Bank, which actually senior students want it the most. Mm. I actually announced it saying Cushion Bank. If I say share uh, Rixum collection as a whole, uh, they will need a laptop or they need a hard disk to take home. So I just segregate them and make a Cushion Bank. Cushion Bank, st senior students take the most. Mm. But when it comes to videos and all, actually younger students are m most interested. Mm -hmm. The math tutorial was quite interesting for me that you have, it's very colorful and you know it's supposed to catch the attention of younger students. What has it been like feedback from schools? Because quite a few schools have uh, taken in the Rixum Share uh, collection. Schools have been uh, incredibly thankful for the collection. Um, we actually depend on teachers like Pasang. Uh, we have a few more ambassadors like that. Uh, in Bhutan mm. and self-appointed um, ambassadors <laughs> yes, uh, very uh, supportive very um, encouraging I wish I had uh, teachers like that when I was 
student. Mm -hmm. uh, and That's saying a lot, actually. Yeah. I think Pasang is feeling very pleased. He's glowing now. He's yeah. a pleased <laughs> teacher, and you're saying that be, in his presence. He should be. He's been helping us a lot. And our effort, I mean, we are a very small team. Mm. So our effort actually depends on teachers uh, like uh, Pasu, on the Ministry of Education, who has been incredibly supportive, mm. and uh, they're actually helping us to distribute the collection all over Bhutan. So have you actually reached all the Zonkaks? We have reached uh, quite a few. Mm. We have a lot of um, uh, adaptions in, um, in the West. We are now moving toward the central Bhutan. We have a few schools in Bhutan now. Mm. And uh, Mongar and Lunse are next mm. uh, in line. I see. Uh, Pasang, um, well, we, you know when you download, like you were saying, how you need a hard drive because uh, 16 GB? I'm sorry, yes, you uh, said, uh, the for Rixum, the entire... The Rixum Sherry collection is 25 GB. 25, yes. I keep thinking inside. it's 16 GB for some reason. So this is 32 GB, but yes. I'm, not, so going to, I'm not going to advertise the company, but <laughs> <laughs> you, have the, you can actually carry the entire Rixum Sherry collection on a flash drive if you have it with you or download it to your desktop. Uh, but Pasang, I wanted to ask you, because you're so active, through your mobile phone, would it be would it be advantageous for having something like the Rick Share collection on your phone, a mm. phone version of it? Do you think that would help students more? Um, I, I I don't know because uh, uh, if you talk about uh, kids having phone and they having on their phone, then yes, it's mm. self tutorial actually. Mm. Uh, but teachers having it uh, because we need. Uh, when teachers carry it, they have to actually show it to the students. So phone and computer, it's almost the same. Mm. But uh, if we allow students to have it, uh, if, we, uh, if we allow students to carry mobile phones and if their mobile phones can actually run Khan Academy, mm. then it's going to be a very uh, interesting mm. uh, development. What do, you, what do you think, uh, Boss? Because a lot of people are actually moving to their mobile phones now, and uh, we've seen it recorded all over the world, the use of desktops falling, and then mobile phone applications actually being used more and more frequently. Right. There is still a debate in the education world mm -hmm. whether it's good for the kids to carry around tablets in the school. Mm -hmm. I mean, what happens if it just drops on the floor? Mm -hmm. Okay. Or, <laughs> um, or um, it, uh, it also uh, the interaction in the class Mm. is being hurt by each child focusing on his own little device. Um, the idea of the collection was to use existing hardware mm -hmm. uh, in schools. Um, it's possible to run uh, Khan Academy on a mobile phone, on a tablet. We've also demonstrated that. But um, currently, we don't have plans um, uh, uh, in the short term to offer anything like that, especially because it's a free, it's free software. Mm -hmm. The whole thing is free, mm -hmm. and uh, any th other um, version will actually need to be funded. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll need to someone to fund the tablets. Right. And again, to think if it's a good mm -hmm. idea mm -hmm. from an educational point of view. Right. But then the first time that you attempt to download the Rixum Sherry collection, then you have to be connected the first time. Well, around. you you cannot download the Sherry. Uh, the, the, you the have Rickson. to register online, but... You register online, mm. and that will give you instruction of how to get it. Mm -hmm. And the way you get it, I mean, 25 GB is a lot, mm -hmm. and it's not really possible to download it using uh, Internet in, in Bhutan. Yes. So the way is basically from, for teachers to mm -hmm. uh, copy it from each other, mm -hmm. where they can come to our uh, lab mm -hmm. at Rixum, and we have... Um, uh, it's kind of like a sh you know copying songs from each other, mm -hmm. and we have um, an, a map, a Google map, which shows you which schools in Bhutan actually already uh, installed the Rixum Sherry collection. Mm -hmm. And if you're a teacher at a school, you can look for nearby schools mm -hmm. and find out um, another teacher and maybe call him and say, "Hey, can I come over mm -hmm. with my external drive or my pen drive mm -hmm. and just copy uh, mm -hmm. the collection?" Mm -hmm. Pasang, do you uh, feel a little threatened by developments like this? Because this could actually negate the need of a teacher in the classroom as well. Uh, not quite. Uh, <laughs> actually, uh, I don't see a day uh, when teachers will not be required. Actually, in this, uh, these are actually uh, helping us, uh, actually not threatening us. Um, in fact, if you Into see... extinction. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, uh, actually, when things like this come, we have uh, 
we are like actually it's just like uh, our ability our efficiency is increased we can deliver in different ways uh, but I don't know uh, I don't know the future but as of now these are just our helpers not uh, <laughs> Not your competition. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mr. Chenchen, when you actually, when um, your institute actually wanted to work on the Rixum Sherry collection, then was your aim also to uh, look towards paperless education? Uh, <coughs> yes, actually. Uh, we thought that uh, you know, internet, ICT is one of uh, the major uh, tasks for all the youth to learn through uh, the electronic learning, I should say. So when there are no resources to learn, so we thought that uh, our uh, software which will really help the youngsters to learn more and I uh, said so that uh, in regard to the availability of our software because uh, as Bose has mentioned uh, it's free of cost everybody can just have it from Timpu our office mm -hmm. anybody who are around Timpu they can have from us the schools nearby Pajo Pasu, as he said, that uh, self-appointed ambassador. Of course, we have not paid anything, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> free job. So they can just avail all the software uh, mm. from Pajo, mm. from Pasu. And Mongar and other Tashigans, some of the teachers in Mongar, they have, they can just avail. And teachers in Samsi or Pinsoling somewhere, we have Ruxmo offices down there. They can just go to Ruxmo office and they can just uh, download it. They can just avail it now. Yes. Has the use of paper reduced in your classroom, Pasan, with the use of the software? Mm, actually or do you still need to print out the information that is there for your students? Actually, it's too early to uh, uh, actually see all this impact. Mm. Uh, and uh, again, uh, when you talk about Rixim Sherry collection, actually it is not all in encompassing, you know. Actually, these are supplement for some subjects. Mm -hmm. And they are supplement, uh, uh, like on, in maths and science, we have... Uh, uh, quite a few softwares on, and there are like English books and all. And actually, it doesn't cover everything in our classrooms. Mm -hmm. So therefore, actually, things uh, will take time. Uh, and I know uh, Rixum is actually going for Rixum Sherry Collection. We have already reached two in two years. Mm -hmm. for Rixum Sherry Collection one, two, and they are going to move forward. Maybe in future, let's uh, see. But uh, as of now. Uh, uh, such drastic change has not happened. Yes. Do you see then, Boz and Mr. Chenchen, both you are most welcome to supplement as well, uh, Rickston working with the Education Ministry to actually work towards a curriculum that is available on computers and as software rather than as textbooks because they still receive a lot of campaigns from schools across the country how certain suppliers have not um, sent their textbooks on time and such. That's an excellent uh, question and um, the Department of Curriculum has already uh, uploaded many of their textbooks online to the website. So many of the textbooks, especially from class PP to 6, are already available online. All these books are also available in the Sherry Collection. Mm -hmm. So people or teachers who don't have access to the curriculum uh, department's website can use the... Um, uh, the Sherry Collection, and we are working closely with uh, Am Kezang, the department head, uh, to uh, avail all their e-learning information, all their e-books, mm. uh, to incorporate it into the um, into the collection, the next release of the collection. Uh, I wanted also to add that in addition to that, we have um, more in the next release. We are going to have um, uh, more than 200. Um, RCSC past papers, um, mm. hundreds of um, BICSI mm. um, past yes. exams, mm -hmm. and many other resources. I also wanted to make one small uh, point. Uh, not only teachers uh, and schools actually uh, obtain the collection. Many parents decide that it's going to be beneficial we do have a few parents in BBS okay. who have actually okay. have the Rixum Sherry Excellent. collection for their children as well. So we've, a few of us have been privy to what the Rixum Sherry collection looks okay, like because of that. these uh, parents. And schools can actually serve as a distribution point for mm. the students' parents. <laughs> I see. They can uh, announce or broadcast, look, we are going, mm. if any parent is interested, mm. bring your laptop to school. We'll copy over the right. collection. We had a cameraman here who actually said he's going to download or get access the uh, Rixum Sherry collection as well right after the Zonka discussion, saying he's going to make use of it. But Mr. Tenshina, do you see yourself working very closely with the Ministry of Education in the future? Uh, I think that uh, you know, to get through all the schools, we need their support. 
but not financially, but mm. uh, moral support. As of now, we have been doing pre, and uh, their moral support encouragement is most important to us. Yeah. Yes. The compiling process, that doesn't take up a lot of time, Le, because I'm aware that if you go a couple of years back, not many of the question papers were uh, in, on soft copies, if I'm not mistaken. A lot of teachers were site close styling the papers. I haven't used that word in a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know how you're going to access those papers, actually. Le. These papers, actually, most of them are already available no, online. I see. So you just need to go to the appropriate website. Mm. and download the papers. So it isn't very difficult for you, this no. job? No, it's That's not. What do you think of that, Pasang, having all of this material available in soft copies? Um, actually, uh, Big C has uh, now past five years papers on their website. Mm. Even, uh, I don't know where they got, uh, even RCC papers by uh, past five years, they have actually. Mm -hmm. But the... Uh, when we talk about schools, uh, you know, school uh, education ministry is very vast and uh, we have schools uh, in very difficult places. Uh, and even when they have uh, internet connection, their internet connection actually uh, very slow. So, Rikstam uh, Sherry Collection, actually, the whole idea is not for uh, uh, urban schools is actually to reach out to schools where they don't have internet or where they have slow internet to give whole package in one. So has your uh, mantle of being an ambassador actually worked and has other teachers from other schools called you to actually get the Rickson Sherry collection from you or have you had to reach out to them? Actually, uh, first, uh, first I, we actually called a few people and did. But uh, luckily what happened was there was book fair happening in my school where about uh, uh, 13 Western Zonkoks Teachers from 13 uh, Zonkaks came to my school for book fair. I remember the tweet between the two of you exchanged on this, I think, yes. if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Saying, that was quite successful, you said. Yes. So, uh, book fair, uh, actually, I wasn't uh, so much into book fair because uh, uh, I'm a IT teacher. So, I actually tweeted to him saying, these things are happening, so many teachers are coming here. And immediately... Uh, Mr. Boz and his wife, Miss Gullit, packed their bags and came there. I set up a tent and actually we did our uh, selling there. I mean, like, idea selling. No? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so many teachers took from there. Uh, many teachers didn't uh, bring laptop or hard disks, but they were very quick. Uh, they actually went and bought, borrowed or bought hard, uh, hard drives and they borrowed laptops. And actually so many of them took. Yes. And when can we expect the uh, Rick Sumshari Collection 3 to come out, uh, Mr. Chenchen and Boz? Uh, we are in the process and hopefully by May or June 2014 we may be able to. Yes, I think with that we um, would like to leave it there. Thank you so much for coming in and uh, sharing the positives of the Rixom Sherry collection and uh, the happy Thank news you. that it's... Thank you for helping to increase awareness. Oh, I think we're just helping each other here and helping <laughs> everybody who's watching us at home as well. Thank you so much. The Rixom Sherry collection is free. You have to register online and they will tell you how you can go about acquiring your own version. Thank you so much for giving us your time today.